Are tank treads better than wheels? That's one of those questions that's a bit like comparing apples to oranges because they each serve different purposes. But let's break it down. Tank treads, they're officially known as continuous tracks, have a few clear advantages in certain environments. First off, we're talking about distribution of weight. These tracks disperse the heavy weight of a tank over a larger area than wheels would, which reduces ground pressure. This is essential for crossing difficult terrains like mud, snow, or sand without getting stuck. Then there's the issue of traction. Tracks have a larger surface contact area with the ground, providing better grip. That means tanks can roll over obstacles and rough terrain that would leave vehicles with wheels spinning their axles. However, wheels have their own set of winning cards. Energy efficiency? Wheels take the cake. They typically require less energy to move a vehicle on hard, flat surfaces. Highways, cities, think smooth and fast. And maintenance? Wheels are generally easier and cheaper to maintain or replace. A punctured tire is less costly than a damaged track. Also, if we talk about speed, wheels again zoom past tracks. Tanks are not winning any medals in the Indy 500. Now, coming back to Portland, Oregon, where I, Scott, am from, I can tell you seeing a tank roll down I-5 would be both impractical and a traffic nightmare. Wheels make sense for the urban landscape. But if the question is digging into which is better universally, there's no definitive answer. It's all contextual. If I'm planning an off-road adventure in the wilds of Oregon's backcountry, give me treads any day. For daily commuting, it's wheels hands down. In the theater of war or on the construction site, treads are often indispensable. In the hustle and bustle of daily city life, wheels rule the road, each to their own terrain, each to their own purpose. Decide where you want to go and choose accordingly.